Mount Everest, the highest peak of earth, a breathtaking wonder of nature. In this project, I wanted to bring a miniature version of Everest to life using 3D printing and recycled paper. And today, I will show you how I did it. Here is the final result, our handmade 3D terrain of Everest. To begin, I used Google Earth Pro to study the topography of Everest. Then using Blender and Fusion 360, I transformed the landscape into a 3D printable mold. Here are some snapshots of the 3D design process. Once the model was ready, I sliced it using Ultimaker Cura, ensuring optimal paint settings for a sturdy and detailed mold. Next, I printed the mold using my industry printer with PLF elements. I have used orange and black filaments for the project. For the project, higher infill percentage is recommended to maintain the strength of the mold. The printing process took several hours, but the results were worth it. Here are the final printed parts, ready to be assembled into a functional mold. A close-up look reveals the layer lines from the 3D printing which also resembles the contour lines used in geography to present the elevation differences. It's a great way to visualize the real-world terrain in 3D. I carefully assembled the mold to ensure a perfect fit as any gaps could cause imperfections in the final cast. Now let's talk about the main ingredient, the recycled paper. Over the past few months, I have collected this amount of waste paper. We need to soak them in the water. After some time, I blended everything into a fine pulp. Then I mixed it with the craft glue and water to form a moldable paper mache. I kept the consistency slightly wet to make it easier to fill the mold. With the mold ready, I carefully packed it with the paper mache. Making sure to press it into every crevice to capture the intricate details. In this step, no air pockets are allowed. To ensure a firm and detailed cast, I sandwiched the mold between two plexiglass sheets and clamped it tightly. This helped squeeze out excess water and compress the paper mache into shape. After a few hours, I removed the clamps and prepared for the big reveal. And like every other projects, I have also made an error. 
While removing the mold, I accidentally smashed the peak of Everest. That meant one thing, redoing the entire process. I reclaimed the mold and let it dry properly and this time removed the mold carefully ensuring perfect result. After two days, I took up the top layers I took up the middle layer and tidied up the edges. Another day later, the piece was dry enough to detach completely. Here is the blank unpainted version of our Everest terrain. Let's take a closer look at how it turned out. Now comes the fun part, painting. Using acrylic paints and reference images, I added colors to bring Everest to life. Please don't judge my color accuracy. This is purely artistic. In this project, I learned how to convert real-world landscape into a 3D model from an amazing YouTube creator. I will link the tutorial in the description. I didn't demonstrate the part since I am not an expert in 3D modeling. But if you have any questions, drop them into the comments and I will be happy to help. Fun fact. This project was originally made in February 2022, but I finally got around to editing it in March 2025. Better late than never, right? And here is the final piece, a miniature Everest made entirely from recycled paper. This method can be used to create different landscapes by just changing the base mold, making it a, a very versatile and sustainable craft idea. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Infinity Workshop for more cool projects. Until then, stay creative and I will see you in the next one.